What's up you guys, Joker back. Today I'm going to show and make a review about a new suit that I've got sponsored with from the Russian site Camouflage.ru as in Russia. So we're going to take a closer look at this suit that I actually got from them and I'm going to tell you about the functions and what makes it so great and maybe why you should buy it. So let's take a look. Alright you guys, what I'm wearing today is actually the latest 2016 model Sniper Suit 2 and this is the Partisan Camouflage. Uh, you can actually order this in several camouflages. There is uh, Flectarn D, also known as the Danish Flectarn, uh, which is, Flectarn D is more or less like the Russian copy of uh, the Danish M84. And there is a lot of other camouflages, just like uh, classic Bereshka, uh, White Bereshka, Kelem AK, um, Atax, Multicam, there is a lot of uh, camouflages you can actually get. So you don't have, actually just have to stick with classical Russian models. You can choose a lot of them. But that's up to you. But what I'm showing you today is the Partisan camouflage model, which is a pretty classic uh, Russian camouflage nowadays. When you look at pictures, you will see this kind of camouflage appearing a lot. So this is a popular choice and a pretty effective model. Almost any kind of woods where there is a pretty dark and uh, heavy vegetated area, this will do perfect. Now let's talk about the suit and we'll start with the jacket so I'll move a bit closer to the camera so you can see what I'm pointing out. Now when it comes to the jacket, what they have made as an improvement from the last model they sold before releasing this 2016 model is that they have actually put fabric here in front of the bottoms. So you have the classic Canadian loop system here. But you actually, when you loop it up, you have fabric in front of the buttons, so there won't be no strain on them, or actually they can get stuck or anything. So they are protected, which is pretty good, I think. Now, if we look at the shoulders, you will see that there is some kind of loop system here, where you can actually put um, masking things, like you can put uh, bushes, strains, uh, vegetation or camouflage material here. So it's perfect for when you're trying to lay, lay down and have a low profile. Um, hence also the name Sniper because it's uh, intended for uh, covert ops and sniper missions. So you can see, you can put in things here to help you camouflage. Now if we talk about the buttons and uh, pockets here, you can see that there are uh, four pockets in total. You have two pockets on the chest and they also have the typical Canadian uh, buttoning system which is good because if you're wearing thick gloves you can still feel uh, where the button is and it's very easy to open so if you're wearing thicker gloves than in, instead of these it's still very easy to open and the pockets are pretty roomy you could probably fit in necessary material like uh, I don't know maybe a small first aid kit uh, note materials or whatever so or just snacks I think that if you put uh, heavier or bigger things, you probably use it in your uh, vest or smirch or whatever you're wearing. So it's the same here. Now we also have a little bigger pockets down here by the hip, I would say. The lower pockets of the jacket. Those are much bigger. And there's two of them. Now there is also a smart system here on the jacket which I would like to show. If I take my glove off. It's actually that the jacket here has a loop where you can put your thumb in. Which is pretty good because it prevents it from craw crawling up if you move around a lot. So you don't lose space of it. And if you're wearing a glove, it's even better because it's much more stable. So if you're wearing a glove and pull it over here. The suit feels very stable and you won't get the feeling that it's cr if you're crawling, maybe if you're lying on the floor or whatever, it won't go up. So it's still stable because it's being stuck to your thumb. Now if we talk a little bit about the hoodie, you will see here that on the sides of the ears it has a very thin mesh. Now, why they have this, I'm not really sure, but I would suspect that it has to do a little bit with ventilation. 
and also because of hearing. If you're lying down and you have fabric and you're really trying to be uh, low profile, I think this is good because this can actually help with hearing what's going around you a little bit more. Especially if you're already wearing uh, active hearing protection or something like that. You can see there's also, of course, a uh, loop here which you can fasten and make it uh, much more tighter if it's necessary. And of course you have these classic loop strings here too, if you need to. So uh, let's take a closer look at the pants. Now what they have done to improve is that they have made the belt loops much wider uh, to fit larger tactical belts. Now this is a classic belt that I'm using to almost all of my uh, Russian suits and it's a Soviet classical just normal issued belt. But this works perfect. It holds the pants up very good and it's, uh, it, it puts quite a strain on so it won't move around and budge a lot. Now, uh, when it comes to the buttoning system here, uh, in front of the crotch, they also made the same thing that they did to the jacket. They actually have fabric in front of the buttons, so there won't be any strain on them. So when you button up, you just put this and there's fabric in front of it, so there won't be any larger strain on the buttons, so you don't have to worry about them falling off or being ripped off or anything like that. Let's take a little bigger step back. You can see also that there is large pockets here on the side of the leg, which on, there is on almost any kind of uniform or BDU nowadays. It has the same buttoning system as on the rest of the uniform. And you can actually fit a lot of things down there, Pou uh, pouches maybe, I don't know, uh, you could put gloves, uh, cap, whatever. So you can fit a lot of things there. There's also two pockets here on the back of your butt. But there's also two new additions that I think is really great, especially for the purpose of when you're acting like a sniper or having a low profile. Now that is that you can actually put in soft material here and have it as kind of support for your elbows. So you can put in foam or cloth or whatever you want in here so you can open it up and it's closed by Velcro. So it's on the back of your elbows. So if you're lying down you have some kind of soft cushioning so it won't put too much strain on your elbows if you're lying down or if you're crawling a lot. Now you can do the same thing with the pants. So at the bottom here, there is actually Velcro here too. So you can just slide in any kind of knee protection that will fit in there. Uh, probably the best is if you take some kind of soft foam and cut it out uh, and try to apply it so it uh, fits as good as, as possible in the pants and you will have great protection for your knees so if you don't like wearing knee protection, you will still have some kind of soft cushioning if you go down or if you have to lie down on your stomach and have some strain on your knees. So I think that's really great. Alright you guys, let's take a look at what the suit looks like when you're actually wearing some tactical gear. Now what I'm wearing is a classical smirch from uh, SSO, Spasm. And uh, this is probably the most classical rig load bearing system that you will find Russians uh, using today. There is a million types of actually vests and load bearing systems that Russia uses today. Uh, soldiers have a tendency to use what they think is best, even if it's old school or new with molly, so it depends. But this is to give you some kind of uh, picture of what it looks like with a suit. So, uh, you can see it from the side. The front, the other side, and of course the back. Uh, what also I think that makes this suit great is that it actually has ripstop material. So it's very thin, but still very durable. So it takes a lot of beating. And of course, since it's ripstop, you probably won't expecting uh, a lot of issues when it comes to the suit actually tearing up since it's wearing ripstop fabric which is made to uh, stop that. 
So take a closer look here. All right, you guys, that was it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Now, if you are interested in this suit, it costs about 53 euros, and that is with the elbow and knee, po knee pads included. So, if you're interested in buying this, you need to visit Facebook, because right now there is no link on it on their website. So I'm going to link both the camouflage.ru's official website, I'm going to link their Facebook page, and also link the Facebook profile of the man you need to contact. He is the speaking, uh, he's the English speaking person for their website since they are Russians and not all of them speaks English but I'm going to put you in contact with, his name is Gorgov and uh, he's the guy you need to talk to. Uh, he's very helpful and you will get the things very fast and it's very easy and good solutions. So don't worry and if you're interested in this I definitely recommend you buying it. But of course Take a look, browse the websites, maybe you find something else, something that you find more interesting than this. But hopefully you find something that you will look good in when you're playing Airsoft. So thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you liked this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment. If you don't like this video, let me know why. Because I see sometimes dislikes and I want to know why don't you like it so I can make it better. Thank you guys. Joker out.